I wish I could get rid of this pop up. Okay, let's send 40k over there. Another 40k there. Just you guys will stay in the ships. Okay, first conversions have finished, which is great. Let's keep on converting. Still gonna take a while, but um, should be okay. Let's copy up these guys. My objective first, my first objective is to simply convert him. I still have troops. Force them, uh, uh, give them, force them to adopt a new religion, our religion. We can do that because they are also pagan. So they will convert the provinces. That's what I need. For the one faith, I don't even need to conquer them. I just need that they have the same. That they just need to have the, the same religion, and convert all their provinces. Could hire a conquistador. Let's do it. I've just reset all my mess, my all my pop-ups, which is clearly annoying. Matt's saying that uh, it's really sad to see that barely any of your subs watch you for playthroughs. I really like, like them. Yeah, I'm glad you like them and um, I agree with you. It's really sad for me to see that pretty much no one cares. As if I didn't play this game well. Whatever. Okay, these dudes have arrived. Go beat up these guys. I usually hire generals. I guess it doesn't matter. Generals have more pips than the Conquistadors, but for now I'm going with the Conquistadors because I want to have military access through the, these primitives that, that actually have no, now have better tech, military tech than me. Let's check. Military tech 16, military tech 16. Yeah, military tech 15. While we are still at military tech 13. Guess we should go grab more troops. Uh, 
I should keep him busy. Hello, tip. Welcome. Okay, they are not. They were not in their capital, or if they were in their capital, they moved pretty fast. Now this is surprising. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. Not, I'm not going to raise more stuff. Let's stack up in military. At least until level 15. We are. We have a pretty uh, big disadvantage in morale, and of course tactics. But the morale is simply. It's simply crippling. We have outnumbered them greatly to win the fight. Okay, we have the troops to go beat up the Ottomans, let's do so. It's almost unbelievable, uh, st 60 stacks still having trouble to defeat a 10 stack. Pretty much. Need to kill Brazil, they are still colonizing, they are still building forts. Annoying forts. Okay, that's that's it for the Ottomans. up these guys guess we can convert some more stuff let's do so I'm gonna convert the province Low base tax province in Europe to start the conversion over here. It's gonna the first one is gonna be more expensive, but the the other ones adjacent will be cheaper. Let's convert this one.
we want to have the points, but to to convert it all, but at least we'll end up with a pretty big uh, Manchun culture in. The same thing here. Some modifiers in U4 are simply are simply unbalanced, I think. like some uh, troops are um, supermans in a, in a time where there were no machine guns. These guys had machine guns and their opponents didn't, it would make sense. Ah, but that's not the case. There are also instance, instances where equal tech, in we equal tech, like I see Stacks uh, of uh, with ten, 10 times less troops. Sorry, uh, four times less troops defeat. Defeat uh, say 10k, defeat 40k. With equal tech and uh, similar genres. So something is wrong there. Okay, let's go on after. Those dudes. I don't know, let's simply declare war. Uh, I'm hoping we'll be able to annex the um, Brazil. This time around, ninety eight percent. So take siege that. Yep, dice rolls. Dice roll the random random uh, rolls have so much of a lot of. Uh, how can I say it? But it's not only that. It's more than that. It's more, much more than the dice rolls. But the dice rolls, the randomness also plays a big part. For example, in my last campaign, as the cutting machine, at one point I was fighting Brandenburg. So they had like a 10 stack, I had something like a 40 stack, give or take. And they actually won the fight. Equal techs, more or less the same generals. And I actually said it, I said, it. well, I'm going to send reinforcements because we never know in EU4 we might still lose the, the, the fight. And we lost it, and, and I lost it. Oops, misclicked it. I was going to send reinforcements, but instead made those guys retreat. One hundred and forty-one k. You still have plenty of manpower. Not a big deal. Let's balance these stacks. I can't.
I'm gonna show you a trick. So these guys, I want to get to this province to eventually intercept these dudes. These guys are gonna... ...and see the path. Let's watch now. This is what I usually do whenever these fort's rules piss me off. So, if I want to send most of my troops this way... So short route. There we go. No more issues with um, with that fort. After that fort, this goods should uh, do something else. And Brazil should be able to should be surrendering pretty soon. Let's see if we can convert something else. Welcome, Imperial AL ALB. Nice to have you here with us. Okay, let's see if we can finally stack wipe these guys. If this was 19, if, if this was uh, 1444, these guys would be great. But at this point, they are garbage. Okay, that's it for the Ottomans. This is it for Brazil too. They still don't want to surrender. Can we erase this? Yes, we can. I guess at this point we can already create a... well, I can't. I still I want to build a cathedral here before I create another colonial nation to help me convert this stuff. Yeah, I dodged the zone fort. At least one of the stacks. At least one of the forts we dodged that uh, zone of control. It's really silly. Some some paths are are so silly that I don't even. Whatever. It's like there's a force field there. Forts were static defenses. They had influence, of course they had, but it was nothing like we are seeing in uh, EU four. So this is fantasy. I send these guys to a coastal province to avoid the huge attrition. Anyone at 100%? Yes, these guys. And you? Yes. So let's enforce religion. That's all that I want now. 
I want them to convert the provinces. Let's hope it works. At the moment, I st this, these provinces will give me huge overextension, so I, I still don't want them. Since the we have so many natives, so many nations here, if I enforce religion, they will uh, most likely convert all this stuff pretty quickly. Then we can attack them and uh, eat them. Bring these guys to a coastal province. Hey Brazil, do you want to surrender now? I know you want to. of the fort of the forts and raise all of this stuff at least the ones that we can I need to send the colonist over there. Okay, done. Let's send, uh, let's declare war on someone else. So we have to wait. Misclicked it. It seems. These guys can actually defeat me if I'm not careful. Maybe not, they are uh, military tech 13. Let's go, let's bring these guys here. Help out. Force religion, give me a dosh. And this will do. I 
Are you fucking near me? Okay, there's a fort here, I didn't notice. Okay, go over there. Let's see, what else can we do? For starters we can get rid of this fort. We need to go kill these these guys. We don't actually we don't actually need to do it, these guys are enemies. But I guess I'm gonna do it. Suffering attrition needlessly. And we lost. Over more stuff. Beat him up. So far, so good. No declaration of war by our colonies. Pretty sure they will still declare war at some point, but I may be wrong. We have to convert less provinces than it seems. Some of these provinces are in a new world. So it's misleading. Okay, we clearly need more help here. Actually, let's go beat them up. this goes <sighs> minus three but we should be able to win I think <laughs> 